you're on. Welcome to the Fredericktown Homestead. Today I'd like to try and explain why it is we have this farm and uh, the condition it was in when we got it. A lot of work has been done even just to get it to this stage now. There's still uh, definitely a work in progress, but uh, yesterday we were able to pick up the custom made windows that were made at uh, the Yoder. Amish window shop. Yoders, right? And uh, they're beautiful. All of the downstairs windows throughout the house were broken. And um, Put in new windows. they were all single pane windows. This is a elderly farmhouse. And they're all just rattly uh, single pane windows. And they're all broken maliciously. And uh, so we got the windows ordered and made. And uh, Ryder's installing them right as we speak. Um, <laughs> he's got two of them already this morning, I guess. Or mm -hmm. two, three. Let's take a look at the windows. We got these two in. <clears throat> this one and this one. A large part of what was done was to clean. Oh. Um, before these guys came, I got two of my Amish friends here mm -hmm. for a day, and um, we took loads to the scrapyard. Mm. We took loads to the dump. We took a lot of material out of here and then when they got here I was on a trip and uh, they've we, been cleaning consistently. We, you can see the floor is all clean pretty much now. And in a and kitchen, uh, oh all the formica, it's, it's actually in okay shape. Not bad actually after I've got it all cleaned. But okay. yeah. The stove was we got a new stove. Uh, stolen and, the and a fridge. So we got them replaced. Um, the place was vandalized mm -hmm. hard before we got it, and the landowner, um, when we offered to take the place over and bring it back to life, raise food here, raise our own food, he was willing to go along with that. Um, it's quite an offer, actually, to have it is. more lane that you can shake a stick at. Uh, yep, we got a thousand acres, right? Not for us to use personally, but that's what the ranch has, a thousand acres. 756. Oh, wow, I thought it was a thousand. Okay. But when you've got numbers that big, you can it might walk as well. around them in a day. It's, <laughs> it's pretty much day. But we want to walk through the house and show you some of the cleaning that's been done. And it's been... Uh, I've been the walls. These were um, these walls were holes everywhere. Um, they were in rough mm -hmm. condition with a lot of holes and uh, a lot of mud and uh, a lot. I've got sorry. like three coats of mud on these walls, and they, they were spray painted black and red and a bright, bright green. And I covered over with you know when I did a thin coat, I covered over most of that paint. I mean that yeah that. You know, you could kind of see the black paint here. That's how it was all over the place. That's One of the crazy. things we had to contend with was this uh, oh. panel. When I first saw it, all the breakers were hanging out, and um, the wires were disconnected. And um, we have an Amish friend who came and just kind of waved his magic over it and it all works now. <laughs> That's kind of crazy that an Amish guy could fix our electricity, right? <laughs> but also this was all cracked and I, we were gonna have to put new drywall and I thought, well, I'm gonna try to see if I can repair it. And honestly, I think it's okay. I don't think we have to, it, it took more time than I think it should have. I mean, it would probably have been easier just to put a new piece of drywall, but it's okay, it's in. I and this- a lot of things are gonna take longer yeah. than they would. Yeah, they will. We and have, we got this uh, in. This is we exciting. have wood heat. Mm -hmm. The stove was here, and um, we just all we had it. to do was purchase the uh, uh, piping. Mm -hmm. the, the metal best is going up through the building was all here. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a game changer. This has been a blessing because <laughs> we first got here, it wasn't had, in. <laughs> we've had some very cold weather. Yes. 
the I bathroom. Show you our facilities here. They're <laughs> going to improve over time. Yeah, right they're now we're going to improve. Wow. Well, yes. They, um, I mean, just cleaning it. The toilet was. I was never going to use this toilet. I was going to take a <laughs> sledgehammer to it. But and it's not perfect. But man, it is much yeah. better. And the shower still, wow. it still has wow. to have a little bit more. Once I get hot water, I'll be able to finish it while I'm taking a shower. But it was so disgusting with black and green mold and rust stains and everything else. And it's it's clean. We are going to pull all this out, but not yet. Tonight, I'm yeah. uh, going to pick up my mm -hmm. Amish electrician friends. Yay. And he's going to hook up the hot water. We don't have hot water right now, but uh, we Which will have hot water. Is tough. And this, this, this came this way a, clean, right? This is a project where we can yeah. work on. Um, this is what we were given to start with. and um, We've got one working sink. This one works, doesn't leak. This one it has problems. It looked like they chunked off something, and it does leak. So we got one working sink and a toilet and a shower. That's all we need right now to work on the house. We don't have a bathroom door. No, we do need a bathroom door because you're going to be moving in and that won't be very... <laughs> um, the cat, he's our mouser, we hope. We cat hope. Okay, this is the first room I tried to fill holes in on. Now, yeah. one thing of interest in this room is the um, floor. Yes. Um, they had, I believe, carpet down Yes, here. in every spot. Yeah. And it was wet. And um, it just ruined this. Uh, this our is the plan is to put in underlayment and um, and then mill out, use the mill residue from the uh, pallet shops to uh, mill to a plain uh, hardwood floor and um, cut it at 90 degrees and I mean uh, 45 degrees. And make a pattern on the floor. Yeah, we're gonna do some kind of herringbone, or we're not sure yet. We're just gonna have fun with it because it's a place to experiment. The with. the you wood know, is ex inexpensive, right? It's very inexpensive. The the pallets the of wood are free. The wood's virtually free. And so and, yeah, uh, and you got a planer. And we got the planer. So that is gonna be very very cool. We've made some really neat wooden floors with just they brought with them a, wood picket um, fences. Chop and saw to do the yes. Cuts. So uh, we got some repair work to do in here because it did leak. The window was broken and it did leak, so we'll be repairing. It leaked all the way down to the basement, which is not good, but we'll be repairing. As you can see that we kind of cobbed together some of the windows. Yes. Um, but we've got replacements for yep. them now, so. Yep, yep. The heating system was completely vandalized. It was gas, propane actually, and um, hmm. there's nothing that's usable about it other than the ductwork. The ductwork looks like it's in good right This one I haven't opened up for two days. But all the drywall is done. I tried to go back and go finish any of the holes that were done. Some of this is old drywall. This I think was a new one. This window's got to be replaced. But yeah, this furniture's going, but this one back here is going to go in the house. It's an old secretary, I believe. But this flip, this one needs to go bye-bye. It's 1970s or 80s <laughs> piece of furniture. Maybe in the shop. We'll take it out. We just didn't have a dolly yet. I'm not sure what this is. Do you? This window here looks directly south. Mm -hmm. out on the it's really pretty. And, um, this, the is, this is going to be your room, and, huh? Uh, <laughs> They've already been doing some work on cleaning out some of the brush from right yeah. near the house. The dirt, the trash. And scrap stuff. metal and whatnot. Um, Outside. But got... you can see the work that needs to go into this. Lot this, of work. this is where it started on each room. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, lots of finished we've work. We've got four bedrooms upstairs. Is that right? There's four, but I think one is more of like a landing. So I think that part, the, when you go up the stairs, it's probably just going to be like a, a library and a landing, and then you're going to have three bedrooms up there. Oops, okay. sorry. And then we've got these two bedrooms downstairs. Um, but we could turn it into one if we need to, but... We have... Uh, we're calling this the pantry. Yeah, we're going to make this into a, a big pantry. Hey, I got it locked down tight. I want to be warm. And it stays about 63 degrees inside there with all the plastic I have. We, we took have a full basement. We did repair the stairs because um, the we stairs. We have a water softener that hopefully will work. 
yes. tomorrow. We're crossing and, our fingers um, for that. And a water treatment. I believe it's a water purifier. purifier that's what I meant. Down there, yeah. yeah. And softener, both. And um, these stairs were unnegotiable before. We couldn't get down and them. And Roger uh, repaired the bottom. Refabbed them a little bit. We still need new stairs, but just for now, so we can get down. Yeah. Yeah. Now at least you can get down. Mm-hmm. But this is the pantry. This will be uh, shelves. Yes. Uh, predominantly shelves. Yes. All of my canning. For all of our dry and canned mm -hmm. goods. And uh, it's right near the kitchen. So. Yep. We, uh, we wish we could move the kitchen to this room. But that's going to be down the road. Much, much down the road. We got the place because it was in poor condition. Mm -hmm. And... Um, we're trying to make it in good condition. We're trying to make it a place we can live in. As soon as that phase of the operation is complete or nearly complete or more complete, we will start um, concentrating, well, and when the weather changes, we will uh, start looking at livestock and poultry and uh, building a pond, one of our big projects is to redo the septic system, um, rent a machine, all three of us mm -hmm. learn how to run the machinery, <laughs> and um, we'll put in a septic system, learn how to do that. That'll be fun. But, uh, we're going to try and do things the old way as much as possible. Mm -hmm. We're going to try and uh, use some of the ways that I learned from Archie Morse, who was born in 1896. And um, we're hoping that this project will uh, shine on YouTube. We're, uh, well, it'll help a lot of people learn how to do a lot of these things that have been forgotten. You know, we're, you're going right. to get some oxen out, out here, and we're going to have One some fun. One of the fun. things I'm going to be learning how to do is YouTube. This is only <laughs> the second time I've ever been on YouTube. We're going to teach you how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not shiny yet, but... Um, I watch a lot of YouTube, and I realize that we're not there yet. But uh, yes, we're. Um, we got a lot to learn do. the old ways. We mm -hmm. want to uh, train up oxen. We're going to raise uh, poultry for release for uh, wild game. Um, we're going to plant feedlots and use pigs for uh, permaculture orchards and. Um, we're just going to try and improve the land outside everywhere we go, like we are the house, to improve everything we touch as we go along. That's kind of the overall goal of the whole place. Raise our own food and uh, do so in a healthy manner without pesticides or chemicals. And um, Do you want to show them the outside, the acreage and the barn? We will, but... Uh, you want to do that tomorrow? Not on a cold day like this. I know, it is kind of cold. <laughs> I don't want to go out there. <laughs> you got to have something to look forward to. I know. To. <laughs> we'll have to show you that because it's beautiful. If you subscribe, you <laughs> won't miss any of our um, uh, posts. We hope to post daily if possible. I won't be here all the time. I travel. I go on a trip starting this afternoon. But um, hopefully they'll be able to put up videos as to what they're doing. Um, it's all real interesting. She's mudding, he's windowing. Um, there's always something going on. And uh, we'll try and run the camera and share it all with you. And uh, we hope you'll like and share our videos. Um, I know they're not shiny, but... They will We're be. Just getting started. <laughs> All righty. Uh, well, thank thanks you. for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I don't know if I said hello. Maybe I should turn it around and say hi, huh? I don't know if I can. Once you start, I don't think I can with this. Anyway, enjoy your day, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully, it will be more improved the next time we show you guys this. Enjoy. Bye.